so far uh, we have learned some MIME. So MIME uh, that could be defined as uh, the actual encoding scheme of transformating the data from so your ASCII set to uh, user readable form. And it could be added. Many issues have been learned by us in the previous class or the previous session. That is uh, MME version. How MME version is uh, uh, going to be taken up to as of now. So we have only 1.1 MME version which is available with us. And then uh, what is the content type and how encoding could be could happen to control content type and how the encoding transfer encoding could be could happen. What is the content ID? All these issues have been uh, learned by us in the previous session. So all these all these issues also be learned by us in the previous session. And now today, today we would like to learn something about uh, so how so these uh, how this content transfer encoding could be gets happen. What is the premises to be taken into consideration to have uh, content encoding transfer here? Okay. So normally, content encoding transfer is always trying to specify so the content encoding transfer and its type. Type might be either 7-bit form or 8-bit form or binary form or radix 64-bit form or quoted printable form. Normally, we are using right now in our uh, general email uh, conversations, we are using so quoted printable form only. So seven bit form in the sense, so far we have learned something about seven bit form in the previous sessions also. It is uh, short lines of uh, non-ASCII, sorry, NVT, NVT ASCII character set. And it is the non-ASCII character set, which is also called as EBCD, E-B-C-T-I-C, EBCD. EBCD in the sense, uh, extended binary coded dismal, so interchange code. That is actually eight bit code here. and. Uh, so for uh, sending data unlimitedly, we have to use uh, this binary. And actually, uh, during during the invention of all these encoding uh, schemes, Radix 64 was used. But right now, people are using quoted printable only. Let us see how these uh, uh, things are being happening while uh, doing the operations within uh, uh, uh within 64 radix 64 bit and quoted printable form how this could be gets uh, taken into consideration so all these things will be mentioned based on the so type which we have mentioned not we actually your uh, host will be mentioned this one here so this is the type will be seven bit you may be send the data in seven bit form type will be eight bit you may be send the data in eight bit form Type will be binary, you may be send the data in binary, radix 64 or quoted printed form. Okay, either of these. Let us see how this could be. Seven bit form, so it is uh, for seven bit form, no special transformation is needed because uh, already at the low level stat strategy, so the data which is being used to send the send from recipient or send it to recipient in seven bit form only. So there is no so transformation which is not needed uh, by the seven bit form and uh, maximum limit per a particular uh, line will be maximum number of characters will be required or uh, taken into consideration is only 1000 per line you can take any number of lines lines is not important for us but uh, uh, number of uh, number of characters per line will be 1000 only 1000 could be so type here if you uh, if you if you uh, I mean, type more than 1,000 character, of course, automatically it could be so divided into two lines by the email itself, okay? This is what about 8-bit uh, form. And 8-bit uh, binary also, it is uh, able to send a non-ASCII character set, which is being sent or uh, which is being propagated through internet from the sender to receiver. So here also the same, same procedure will be get followed. Per line, how many number of characters in the sense, maximum number of characters will be, 1000 and uh, NIME does not encode on behalf of this particular type. Okay, this particular type. Uh, so, uh, NIME cannot be encode anything yet. And uh, this, kind, uh, this kind of data cannot be recommended because 8 bit data cannot be encoded that much. So, this kind of data is not supposed to 
uh, recommended for transferring data or sending data from sender to the receiver. Okay. And uh, binary data is required uh, to encode A3 data here. So everything, whatever the data you have sent, uh, that could be converted into binary and can be forwarded to so the recipient here. So uh, in uh, uh, mid days of uh, in the mid days of uh, email sending, so people are used to this particular radix 64 bit. So what exactly this radix 64 bit is? This radix 64 bit will be seen. This encoding uh, uh, scheme is the uh, some kind of solution while sending the data uh, between or transferring the data between the sender and the receiver. Here. Okay. So what actually been happening here? So normally. So data can be sent uh, as a printable character which is being sent here. So that could be an ASCII character set. And uh, Radix 64 will be divided, uh, this total binary data into 24 uh, bit blocks. 24 in the sense, 6, 6, uh, 6 4, uh, 24. So uh, how many number of, uh, how many number of uh, uh, 8 bits form you have to send, those many number of 8 bits form will be converted into 24 bit blocks here. Okay, let us see. So each block is then divided into four sections. Okay. So every three bytes, every three bytes, let me consider uh, three into eight to 24. So byte number one, byte number two, and byte number three. So every three bytes will be taken as a single block, one block. And this one block is being di divided into four sections. Four sections of this actually, this is eight bits, and this is eight bits, and this is eight bits. This eight bits will be uh, re-transferred uh, something like this. It could be re-transferred into so four blocks. Each block may contain six bits. Each block may contain six six bits. So, so six fours are 24, or three eights are 24, something like that. Okay, it could be made up of six six bits. So based on this particular six bits, it has been prepared. It has been it has been prepared so a particular table of content of uh, which contains sixty four different symbols. So these symbols will be this one here. For zero, it is capital A. For one, it is capital B, and so on and so forth. Uh, for zero, I mean uh, for uh, the bit uh, decimal value zero, which would be equal to which would be equal to 52 and uh, decimal value 9 which will be equal to 61 and so on and so forth here we have uh, so here we have uh, 64 different kinds of symbols which have been prepared by so so this particular thing radix 64 uh, kind of uh, so encoding scheme these are the 64 uh, so symbols which have been taken into consideration each and every value will be represented in six bit form. So this value will be six bit form. This value also six bit form. Let me say A will be, if you want to represent this particular A, capital A will be zero, 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 zero. So six zeros. So zero, 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 and all of these zeros will be considered as a capital A here. So zero, 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 I mean zero, one, it will be considered as a capital B here, and so on and so forth. In this way, so the value value will be represented in six-bit form, and uh, so I did after identification of this particular value, actual value, and this will be converted into eight-bit form. Actually, a value will be in eight-bit form. Okay, so let us see how this uh, conversion could be gets happened here. Let us examine how the conversion could be gets happened here. As I said just before, so entire data will be divided into so divided by three. For example, if you send the 12 uh, bytes of information will be sent by you, 12 bytes in the sense, eight into, so eight plus eight plus eight plus each and every byte will be having eight bits. So having uh, such kind of bytes, so 12 bytes have been sent by you through email. So how this could be done here in the sense, so four threes are, so each and every block does have, uh, so three bits, sorry, three bytes, byte number one and byte number two. So this is first byte, this is second byte, and this is third byte. Something like this. These twelve bytes will be divided divided into so totally so four blocks. Okay, each block has three 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 bytes, three 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 bytes. And further, these bytes are going to be divided into so these bytes are going to divided into so let me consider 
four four blocks. So block number one, block number two, block number three, and block number four. Each block will serve six six bytes, six six bits, not bytes, six six bits. Like this, uh, every every for every three bytes, it could be taken as a block, and uh, this particular block is going to further divided into like this. And uh, based on these values, whatever the values you have been taken into consideration, these values will be look into this particular table. Okay, this value. So after six bytes will be taken into consideration. If six uh, the, the the six six bits will be taken uh, decimal equivalent value as as a two. So what does it means? Zero 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 one zero. If this is the value in the first six bytes, it is going to be happen here. So that could be transformed or encoded as a C. C does serve its own capital C does serve its own ASCII code. So after uh, identifying that particular value, it is being further uh, further encoded to 8-bit form. So capital A, 65, 66, and 67 as far as uh, ASCII character set. So it could be identified or it could be so binary equivalent value as 67. Okay. So like this, it is being uh, transmitted. How these uh, things will be happen here? Let us have a look here. So this is the data which is being sent. For example, this is the data which is being sent by the people. So huge amount of data will be sent, but uh, uh, three three bytes will be considered as a single block here. So this block will be so in terms of a non ASCII uh, uh, character type of data has been sent here. This could be sent through. So radix 64 converter, radix 64 converter does have 64 different kinds of symbols will be there. Each and every symbol will be identified. It's equal to decimal value zero capital sorry zero will be capital A, one will be capital B, two will be capital C, and so on and so forth. So like this, it could be gets identified. Then after taking this uh, uh, radix 64, what exactly it could be done here on the sense? It could be divide this. Uh, all uh, uh, these bits into so four uh, four blocks. Each block may contain so six six bits, six six bits. So these bits will be. Let us consider. So all these six bits will be considered as uh, this one here. You please observe this particular way. And uh, zero zero one zero zero zero. So right away from this particular thing to this particular thing, it could be considered as. Uh, it could be considered as uh, so it could be considered as this particular uh, block here and so on and so forth and so on and so forth that is being uh, gets identified and if you convert this particular value this particular value into its decimal equivalent value that is 51 okay so as far as uh, 51 51 is concerned what is the value of 51 as per this particular table so look at this uh, uh, 51 is uh, small j okay so the conversion of uh, binary to decimal that is equal to value is 51 51 uh, so value which is being pointed out is uh, small z here okay likewise uh, this is 8 8 does have its own value that is uh, if, I, if i write that is i then uh, it is 4 4 does have some value and it is 57 57 does have some value what are those values here in the sense that value will be so that value will be okay just wait for a while okay capital uh, small z here so if you consider small z in ascii so small z does have uh, 122 i think it is 122 so this particular value if you convert this particular uh, decimal, uh, binary to decimal it could be 120 okay and uh, this is a capital i capital i does have its own uh, so ascii character set decimal value if you convert that value into uh, binary it could be the binary value and then uh, E, capital E does have its own value in ASCII character set that could be converted into like this, like this, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, this is what about, uh, uh, this is what about ASCII data, how this could be converted here. First of all, eight, eight, eight bits, so three blocks are three into eight bits will be taken into consideration by this Radix 64 bit, 64, Radix 64 converter. And this radical 64 converter will be convert this entire data into four blocks. Uh, for each block does have six, six bits. Each six bits will be taken or converted into its equivalent value. So based on its equivalent value, it could be looked into the table. 
So that particular table does have some character, whatever the character it may be, capital, uh, uh, capital letters and lower case, uppercase letters and lowercase letters and digits and uh, plus and slash. Okay, all these things uh, uh, combinedly, collectively called as uh, 64 uh, symbols. So it could be linked into 64 symbols, and each symbol does have its own uh, so value. That value could be have uh, its a decimal equivalent value in terms of ASCII character set here. So, so uh, ASCII character set capital A will be decimal equivalent value is 65. So small z the decimal equivalent value in ASCII character set is 122. Okay. So if you convert this 122, you could get this value. You could get this value. So if you convert the I's equivalent value in ASCII character, you could get this one here. Okay. Likewise, so non ASCII data will be converted into ASCII. So uh, like this here. Okay. Radix 64 will be look into its own table. Its own table, which does have uh, 64 symbols exactly 64 symbols after conversion will be gets happen uh, after uh, uh, division of six six bits will be happen so after uh, taking this uh, 60 to six six bits it will be again converted into equivalent to decimal value and this decimal value will be look into so one more table that is ascii character set okay one more table that is ascii character set for 51 some value for 52, sorry, uh, this 51 will look into table 64 only. I'm very sorry. This 51 is look into table 64 only. In table 64, so against 51, some value could be there, some symbol could be there. This symbol is being, this small z is being looking into, so ASCII, ASCII character set. And this ASCII character set, it does have its own value. So that, that small z value is equal to 122. So if you convert this 122, it's equal, it's equal binary value. This is the binary value, okay? And so on and so forth. Likewise, it could be converted continuously, okay? It could be converted continuously, but uh, for every three bytes, it could be taken process, and again, three bytes will be taken process, and again, three bytes will be taken process, and so on and so forth. It could be done. So three, three, three bytes continuously, okay? Likewise, uh, the 64-bit converter will be taken into consideration. Whereas, if you consider quoted printable, 64-bit also have some kind of uh, problem. That problem is uh, already we have given some information here. You, you please observe this one. Radix 64-bit will be divided the binary data into 24-bit blocks. 24-bit blocks. 24-bit in the sense, 8 into 3. 8 3 is a 24. So three, three bytes will be taken into one block and that block is being processed. And uh, if you are trying to send uh, only 32 bits will be sent by you. 32 bits in the sense, only four characters, four, uh, 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 what do you call, ASCII equivalent characters will be sent by you, for example. So first 32, uh, first 24 will be one block and uh, second uh, 24. So 20, 24 plus 24 will be 48, but we have sent only 32 remaining block will be vacant. I hope that you understand what I uh, uh, what I discussed with you. Let us consider this is my entire text. This text size is uh, 32 bits, 32 bits. So 32 bits in the sense, first character, second character, third character, and fourth character. I have sent only four characters data to my friend. So it does have eight bits, it does have eight bits, it does have eight bits, and also eight bits. Okay, then uh, as far as uh, Radix 64 encoding, so it will be taken right away from here to here, right away from here to here, it is one block. This is uh, block one. And the second block, let us consider, so three more bytes will be taken into consideration, but uh, actual data does have only one byte. Actual data has uh, only one byte. Remaining two bytes is uh, vacant here. To process this one, vacant bits or vacant bytes cannot be processed in a particular way. So that is the meaning of uh, my explanation regarding the 32 bytes, sorry, 32 bits, okay? So because of this particular reason, because of this particular reason, so Radix 64 does have always having 25% overhead, okay? 25% of data will be always in terms of uh, uh, overhead form. So to avoid this one, to avoid this one, so we have to use printable 
quoted printable kind of form here. And one more thing, if your data will be mix of ASCII and non-ASCII, for example, if your data will be mixture of ASCII form and non-ASCII form, then uh, so RADIX 64 encoding scheme cannot be useful. RADIX 64 can, can be useful for only, so non-ASCII form only, but not uh, pure ASCII form. If I would send ASCII and non-ASCII, then it is not possible to so convert the or encode the data by using RADIX 64. Then what shall we have to do? If a character is in, in quoted printable form, if a character is ASCII, so it could be sent as it is. There is no conversion, there is no encoding. It could be sent as it is. If a character is non, not ASCII or non-ASCII, then what could be done here in the sense it could be for every non ascii character it could be sent so three characters first character must be always equal sign always equal sign number one will be always equal and the next two characters will be so hexadecimal equivalent values of uh, the actual non ascii character hexadecimal equal value of uh, actual non ascii Okay, let me explain how this could be, how this could be happening. Let me explain by taking one example here. Let us take the example here. So this is already in ASCII form. This is already in ASCII form. This is already ASCII form. It is also ASCII form. But uh, this block is not in ASCII form. This is non-ASCII form. Okay, for example, we'll consider something like that. Then how it could be? It could be sent to, so quoted printable, uh, so converter. And this quoted printable converted will be taken. So these two, so from here to here, it could be sent as it is. There is no conversion which is required. And these two, so from here to here, so this could be sent as it is. There is no conversion here. And if you consider this one, so equal sign, as for ASCII character set, this is the value of equal sign. And uh, the value which is being sent, uh, 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 this value could be uh, hexadecimal equivalent value in the sense this is let us consider so this is one hexadecimal value and this is another hexadecimal value here this two will be taken into consideration and convert into its equivalent hexadecimal value so we don't have any clarity how this could be converted by so quoted printable here so in this way it has been converted and this entire data this entire block of information will be sent to the sender then what actually been done here in the, in, the, in the decoding, in decoding, this could be eliminated. This entire data will be eliminated at the receiver's end. And these two will be combined together and uh, uh, 64 bit of, uh, 64 bit of uh, hexadecimal complement form will be gets identified for uh, these two values. So therefore it could be converted into again non-ASCII. So after non-ASCII, it could be able to readable by the so-called other recipient. In this way, in this way, so quoted printable form is uh, going to be equalized here. This is the way of uh, this is the way of uh, converting the data into quoted uh, printable form. So nowadays people are using this uh, quoted printable form only. This is uh, being used by the so people, not exactly people, the algorithm developers of uh, email. Uh, uh, transmission from uh, one place to another. This is the usage. Okay. This is what today's lecture. Only three. Okay. Let us see.